change <laughs> loud. <laughs> it's like three times louder than Osman. That there should be good volume. Alright. Okay, here we have. If I can go to the title screen again, let me just speed it up here. The Great Warriors. The Lord of King. <laughs> so, the Lord of King. This is the Japanese version of Astanax. And a lot of people probably know Astanax from the NES version of the game. Um, the arcade Astanax is actually a totally different game. And I'm playing the original Japanese version just because it's got the best name of all time, the Lord of King. But yeah, totally different to the NES Astanax. Um, basically just medieval side-scrolling. Kind of really slow-paced. It doesn't have much platforming. You can't really call it a platformer per se, but yeah. This is, this is kind of a fun game. Cool. So let's get this started. Roar! Became the Lord of King. Okay, in the forest. So this game, very slow paced, you just want to proceed slowly, taking enemies out. Oh, well. Oh. Taking out mantises, no less. <laughs> the staple fantasy enemy, giant mantises. And your your axe is pretty tight, like strategic, but you can use it strategically. In that it attacks behind you, and, th and that's really important with the way enemies kind of attack you in this. Right, get that. Also, it does have the same system as Astanax on um, NES, where like you wait to charge and you get the big attack power to one shot these guys. So you kind of want to go slow, build up the power, hit dudes. Hit dudes. Alright. That platforming bit which is pretty annoying because if you fall there it's insta death and I don't want to lose lives right at the beginning. We got a shield which can deflect some attacks. Uh, you see this? The axe hitting from behind. Also a lot of the enemies don't respawn in this game so that's why you want to take stuff out before moving on. Uh, wanted to charge up to get that guy. We're getting lowish time here, I should try to hurry a bit. Let's use the magic there, it's a good place to use it. Okay, this boss. Just want to mash at this very specific point. And I just got troll there. Oh, there we go. It's kind of annoying that for a first boss. It's one of the trickier bosses. Like, without that specific spot, it's surprisingly hard. Okay, in the cave. So, the cave is kind of weird. The cave has this gigantic floating rock thing just hovering around like a big battleship. <laughs> Don't know what the deal is with it. And there's these armadillos. By the way, the artwork that was... The, every time you kill a boss, the artwork is pretty sick. The cinematic. Get the little gold things that increase our magic level. Grab 
that. Oh, this dude spawning right on top of me. Oh. Okay, this is a bit of an annoying position. These pink orbs, they give you health back, and the big ones give you more health. So that's a very useful item, but we're already at max health there. Charge up, kill him in one shot. Oh shit. I <laughs> wanted to charge up and try to get them both in one shot. Like, I was gonna say like that, but I mistimed it. I did it like a second too early, so I didn't have the full charge shot there. Whoa. So, oh. Yo. <laughs> that big sword guy. They're harder than the armadillos. I accidentally spawned him on the screen with the armadillo behind, that was kind of bad. But luckily I didn't get hit. Get him, and now we just move up this. Alright, so now we're on top of the mysterious big floating rock thing. Just wait for our charge up. Ugh. The charge up doesn't just increase your attack like threefold, it also increases your range quite a bit, so you can really easily just snipe dudes with it when you get it. Oh! I had to scratch my face and a dude immediately spawned on top of me. Luckily he didn't get away with a hit. Okay, we got some health, hopefully some health soon. There's health somewhere. Health. Ugh, get him. Oh my god. Whoa! I didn't re like remember that many guys spawned there. Okay. Now here, we're gonna go about here. Okay, we want to keep him in hit stun and try to make it so that he never actually gets the opportunity to attack us. If we're good. There we go. You can keep dudes in kind of a hit stun, like not not pure hit stun. They do move a bit, but if you can keep them locked down enough, then you can get away with stuff like that. Okay, now this stage is kind of annoying because there's a lot of pits, and if you fall down, it's a one hit death. So you got to be careful not to blink and lose like two lives accidentally. Uh, there's also frogs. <laughs> Get him. Those orange things, I think they're just score. Oh. Thought there was a snake around here somewhere. Is it here? There it is. Can't kill those. Get all that. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see? <laughs> Some of those bridges break. You have to be careful not to freaking fall down those. And you have to jump past these statues. Because the statues, you can see the ones with arms attack you. I want the stuff though. The juicy stuff. Oh, what am I doing? Holy, holy. Should I... I don't know if I should use magic here or not. I <laughs> forget if I ever use magic here. I don't think I need to. The skeletons are fine. There we go, and there's health there too. Timer though. Kind of taken a little too long here. Hurry it up. More health. Okay, forget that thing behind. Whoa. Oh my... Whoa. What the heck am I doing here? <laughs> okay. Alright. I, I, I made the mistake of going far too forward too quickly there. But it's fine. Everything's fine. 
now we just do this on the boss. <laughs> this is another super hard boss until you figure out the super cheese strat. Where you do this. Except this only works if you get rid of one of the heads at the beginning. And to get rid of one of the heads right at the beginning, you have to um, use a full magic. That's why I wasn't using magic throughout that stage. And I got enough time to do it. There we go. Alright, good. We still haven't lost a life. Killed the Hydra. And the double-headed dragon. So, now the lift. And this stage is pretty stupid. It's just like a whole bunch of enemies falling down. Randomly, basically. <laughs> just hope they don't fall on you. So the most defensive thing to do is essentially just doing this. Although you want to get those guys. When, when's the health drop? There's a health drop in soon. There! Give me the health! Give me the health! There we go! Oh. I messed up the use of that magic. You can see I'm building up a bunch of lives from score. Especially since I haven't lost any lives yet, so that's good. This game does give you a lot of lives from score. Just hope for the best, hope for the best, there we go. So you keep running into the back, keep running in the back. So good. And this stage doesn't have a boss, it's just these enemies at the top. And there we go, good, flawless. Now the castle. So, gigantic freaking cyclops to start the stage with. Kill it, you open the door, go through. This stage is really cool because it's the longest stage by far, but there's just a lot of unique things going on in this stage, stage design-wise. A lot of unique enemies too. You've got these enemies. <laughs> Pretty good enemy. So the tactic for these Cyclops is, is you just wait. You wait till they jump at you, and then you would start attacking like their heal from behind. Like, ugh. Like this. You see, I've blocked um, with my shield a few times here. Shield is pretty good for like projectiles and stuff. Not so much for other things. Oh, okay, so here's this enemy. You, you can't reach him. You don't have the range to actually hit him unless you charge your weapon. So, let's hit him with charges. Here's another Cyclops. The double Cyclops. To use a magic there. Uh, and they run away. Wait for a jump over. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is satisfying. The four freaking power up things. By the way, I haven't been able to to look at chat during all this, but um. I'm sure some people have probably mentioned it, but uh, the same designer as the Legendary Axe on the PC Engine, or the Turbo Graphics, the same designer for that game as the guy that designed this game. And this game actually came after. It was actually basically... Oh, what's the pattern? There we go. So basically, Legendary Axe was the first game in the series, and then the Lord of King, aka Aston Axe, was the second game, both this and the NES version. And then there was actually a third game, directed by the same guy again, that was going to come out um, for the uh, Mega Drive. It was called Vasum in Japan. Um, and the American release was, was uh, scheduled to be called Dando. And that was basically the same mechanics again, the same sort of fighting mechanics and charge up and everything. Except Vasum was going to be like an action RPG. Um, the screenshots of it look really cool. It's really unfortunately, unfortunate it got cancelled. But it was, yeah, basically like a more action RPG version of, uh, a more action RPG version of like this or Legendary Axe. Like experience and different equipment. There's like screenshots and, uh, well there's the first life. It was going to happen eventually. This is a really hard section to go through without using a life. This is magic. Do I even want that? 
But yeah, if you search like Sega Retro Vasum or Sega Retro Dando, you'll see like the unused box art for the Japanese version and screenshots. And I don't know what the guy did after that. Like, that was still pretty early. Like, Legendary Axe was like 88, and then this was 89, and then Vasum was supposed to be 1990. And then I have no idea what the director made after that. But apparently he gave up on just making clones of, of Legendary Axe some point. Okay, behind these pillars... Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Behind these pillars are, are hidden hidden item containers. So behind that one was health. And there's one here too, I believe. Well, maybe not. Okay, we'll just ignore it. So here we go, the Dark Lord! The Ultra Dark Lord Last Boss Castle Guy. Here he is. Uh, the tactic is you just get underneath him and do this. If his lightning hits you, it does 50% damage. It's really hard to get used to to start with. Uh, oh, oh, shit. You can see the size of his throne is pretty hilarious. But yeah, sweet spot, you just duck and, and hit him. Oh, ah, oh, crap. See, it does so much damage, but we got so many lives, it's alright. So many lives from all that fat score. Oh, and there we go, the Dark Lord is killed. Surely the game is over. Surely that is all that's in the game. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh no, we've got a Giga stage. We got a HR Giga friggin' flat out stage. <laughs> because, because Lord of King is fucking awesome. So, apparently the Dark Lord- Oh, I'm taking too much damage here. Apparently the Dark Lord just hasn't- Has a whole quadrant of his castle just- Just tape it off for, um, for his Geigerized section with aliens shit everywhere. Perfectly fits into- To the thematic setting going on here. And yeah, it's basically just all these enemies. Check out the background! <laughs> the fucking Xenomorphs in the background. So sick. How cool is this? This is definitely uh, something that the NES version doesn't have. I'm playing like crap. I shouldn't have lost a life in this stage. Okay, just, just go carefully. Just, just careful. I have built up a lot of lives and the, the run was really good. But this this boss can really troll you if you if he wants to. If he doesn't want to stay in his hit stone. I don't know what the heck the music is doing here. Ah, 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 just, just jump through it, just jump through it. Okay. Alright, here we go. The true fucking boss is a Geiger alien. And we do basically the same strat as the Dark Lord. You go close to him and uh, duck and attack. And this is where you want all your lives. This is where you want as many lives as possible. Because he can really troll you. If he doesn't move much, you can keep him in hit stun and kill him really good, but usually you need to go through a bunch of lives to kill him. This is... This is okay... pattern? See, I've already lost like fucking a shitload of lives. His hand, I think, might do, might do more damage than just touching him. Oh, and the alien from Aliens is dead! Who is ruling the fantasy Death Kingdom? We get a Castlevania screen. And. That's cool music. Simon Belmont shot, except no Simon Belmont, instead we got the Lord of King. The Lord of all the fucking kings. <laughs> With his upper plate mail. He's just got this upper vest plate mail piece, he doesn't need anything covering his belly or his back or anything. Tokuhiro Takamori, that's the name of the guy that did Legendary Axe, this, and uh, the before mentioned Vasum or Dando that didn't come out. Music. And 
you. Okay, so before I finish with this game, there is something else I need to quickly show off here. Let's just put in our name first. Oh, let's not put in our name because it literally gives you about five seconds to put your name in. That was literally about five seconds. I couldn't even move to the first letter. <laughs> also, the second player got different different armor and different hair. No, different color. Um, okay, so yeah, let me quickly show something off here that is really freaking hilarious. So I'm gonna load a state. Alright, let me just put the noise down a bit more. Alright, so usually when you game over in this game, this is what happens. Oh, I better put the noise up for it, actually. You can see, it's the guy that you kill at the end, the Dark Lord. Like, the, the guy before it throws you for a loop. And let me just put the noise louder so you can hear him. <laughs> so he says, don't you give up playing this game? He breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> he fucking taunts you to put more coins in to beat it. So the whole time, when you're going through the game, you, you think this is the last boss because he's taunting you there, like, freaking saying that shit. But, when you kill him... Whoa, 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 wait a sec. Oh, let me quickly, quickly go in here. I accidentally quit the game. <laughs> But, I guess you're wondering what happens when you beat him in the game and then the game tricks you and the game keeps going after the Dark Lord. Well... The game actually has continuity. When you kill that guy in the game, he actually doesn't appear on the continue screen to taunt you. So it's like a mystery who the real last boss is. <laughs> it's so good. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna move on to the next